So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have West Ham United against Arsenal. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Begley. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. This turns on Jim. Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one on one saves. He's also very reliable under the high ball or when he's dealing with crosses, and I'd expect the whole defence to play with a bit more assurance with him in place. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Granit Xhaka. Gabriel. Tierney. David Luiz. Gabriel. Tierney. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. Now the pass. Dawson puts it away. Bowen battles to win it back. Aimed long and direct. Antonio passes it through. Bowen. He's made certain that won't get through. Smith throw. Gabriel. Smith throw. Antonio with a definite fell there. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, that was coming, Peter. You know, he was on a final warning after all. All the balls come loose. Get closer. Mark him. Would you push on? Dolly! Dolly there! Cresswell. Lingard. Dawson. Rice. Dawson. Rice. Bowen. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Gabriel. Heading towards half time, and it is still scoreless. Put a stop to that. Granit Xhaka. 
Smith throw. Tries to dink it in. It's a throw in. Sweet feet. And we've reached half time. How would you review the first half? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes there. They need some service up front. After 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps. It's the start of the second half. West Ham, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half time. They've been lacklustre and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Away from immediate danger. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. <laughs> Good challenge, he just stood firm. Lingard tries to get it forward quickly. Partey, great challenge. Comes the big one in. It's one! Great build up, it all deserves a better ending. The ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Granit Xhaka. Tierney. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, better communication and, and lots of contact seems to be the, the route to quietening him down now. Now it's Aubameyang. Partey. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Tierney. David Luiz. moment you felt that was going somewhere but they'll have to go again a long and direct the accusatory stare there tells the whole story I think the problem oh. there was that the pass was was telegraphed an easy read for the defense Tierney cut out in the nick of time smart save Oh, the keeper's gone ever so well. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. That he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Spoon forward. Now the cross. David Luiz. Pepe, Lingard gets it back, Lingard is the guilty party there.
and it's Lingard. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the final third. Saka tries running with the ball at his feet. It's a great ball! And it's a goal! Listen, it's a massive contribution to help his team in front again, and his determination and stamina has enabled another late addition to, to typify his commitment from, from start to finish. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. West Ham, so they're about to make a change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Arsenal take the lead, and now it's just a question of holding on. There's still a bit left in it, Peter, but they should find the necessary to avoid a slip-up now. Aubameyang gets into a good position. He's gone long. It's Antonio, and that has put paid to that. And there goes the final whistle. Always in the balance, and in the end, one goal was enough. They are narrowly beaten. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? It's a poor result. They offered very little goal threat, and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly. At the business end, they just can't...